Ethereum, hope everyone's doing all right. So, reaction time. So, Crown. So, this is a band, Crown with an E, by the way. This is obviously a Frontiers project. Surprise, surprise. Um, a band called Crown, like I just said. And this is a load of musicians that have been put together. So, let me go through the musicians. Alexander Strandell. He is a lead vocalist of a band called Art Nation. Jonah T, he's the guitars and keys on this from the band Heat. John Levin of Europe, bass player. Christian Lundquist, drums, poodles. And Love Magnuson, guitar of Dynasty. So this is a weird one, this. So this, this is the second single and I haven't listened to the first single. Now let me tell you, a couple of things put me off even having a listen, and that's a bit unusual for me. I should give everything a go, and that's why I'm here. So, out of these artists, half of them I love. Half of them, not so much. So, this is the, the vocalist, Alexander Strandell. Now, I listened to him a long time ago, Art Nation. I got hold of all the albums. Uh, but I couldn't get along with them. Now, the reason I couldn't get along with Art Nation is that there wasn't anything that stood out to me. You know, when I want when I hear a bit of music, if it doesn't stand out, it sounded like so many other bits of music that I've heard, or so many other bands, but not quite as good. So we're talking the likes of Heat, Eclipse, Crazy Licks, all those bands. It had similarities, but didn't quite have what they have. Didn't quite reach their heights. But I remember the guys that had quite a good voice though. So, Jonah T of Heat. Heat are one of my favourite bands. So there's that's a tick in the box. John Levin of Europe. Tick in the box. Christian Lundqvist of, on the drums. The Poodles. Tick in the box. Quite like the Poodles. I think they're quite good. They're okay. Not one of my favourite bands. So that's like a half a tick in the box. Love Magnuson of Dynasty. Now, Dynasty. When I first heard their last album, I quite liked it, but I quickly went off of it. So, as you can see here, I'm torn. But, these have been put together. It could be a different, you know, this could be a different thing. Together, they could make brilliant music. I don't know. So, this song is called Percival, off the album Kings in the North, that's out on Frontiers. June the 18th. So this is this one is an unknown for me. It's not a guaranteed I'm going to like this, but I could love it. So it's interesting for me, this one. It's really interesting. And someone said to me, why don't you react to the Crown Band? And like I said, I think this is the second single. I don't know why I didn't listen to the first single. I just didn't. I'm an idiot, maybe. But hopefully this band will prove me wrong. And they're going to be everything I'm looking for. But, you know, I'm going to be comparing these, obviously, to the likes of Heat, Eclipse, Crazy Licks. They are the pinnacle of that, you know, Swedish heavy rock, melodic rock scene. So, without further ado, got the cat now, by the way, obviously. This is Crown and Percival, like member from the album Kings in the North at, in June. On Frontier, so looking forward to it, sort of. Here we go, The Unknown. Don't you like it?
give it a quick stop there. So it's better than I thought it would be. It's a bit heavier than I thought it would be, considering the people that are involved. It's almost power metal, like that sort of power metal sound. The only thing I would say, and this is what I was fearing a little bit, is the vocals. And not that um, Alexander Strandell was a bad singer. He's not. He's not a bad singer whatsoever. He's definitely a good singer, technically a good singer. My issue with it is the character in his voice. Now, there's loads of singers who sound exactly like this, exactly the same. I can't differentiate him with a lot of singers that are around at the moment. There's a lot of singers in that European melodic hard rock scene that sound exactly the same as Alexander Strandell. So like I can imagine when I'm listening to this song, someone with a real classic rock vocal, like rock stroke metal voice singing this, like more of a rasp, more of a sort of deeper sort of voice. But when singers that sing like this, that have got that higher sort of range, they need something else. It's a bit like this, I, I imagine singers like this have got that sort of higher range, a bit like Tony Harnell has out of TNT, XTNT. But he has character in his voice as well. If you hear uh, Tony Harnell singing, he comes on in a random song, if he came on in your car, if you didn't even know the song, you would know it was TNT or Tony Harnell singing. And he even had that when he really sort of stretched to that high, even the heights, he would give have that rasp and that sort of energy in his voice. This Alexander Strandell, although he's a great singer, he needs, for me, he needs to have something else in his voice to make him stand out. I think he is the weakest part of this song. Although he's got a great voice, I can't. If 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 he came this if this song came on, I would not know it was him. He, he, this could be one of countless a number of singers in the Swedish melodic hard rock scene at the moment. But the song's pretty good. I quite like it. Like I said, it's very sort of power metal sort of sounding. That sort of, um, not Viking sort of stuff, you know, you know what I mean? It sounds very chanty, sort of power metal sort of sound. It's a quite a good song, but it's not standing out to me in the plethora of, you know, these sort of bands, these Swedish, and then there's the f even bands from Finland now and Norway, all them bands. What are these going to give me to stand out? I don't know. I can't say it's bad because it ain't. But I'm not, it's not wowing me. Anyway, let's listen to the rest of this now.
You know what? It's, it's hard because there's nothing wrong with the song. It's a pretty good song, actually. But it's not. I think this is going to come and go like so many albums there are that now. You know, one of these projects has been put together. I can't... I, I can see it being liked. I think it would be liked. But what is this giving us more than any other band? And that's what it needs to do. It, it fits in well with that scene. But it's not really grabbing me as much as it should. And you know what? He, he done a great, some great vocals there. He got real high. He went real high on a part of that. And like I said, I've not got a problem technically. The guy is really good. But the character, the, the, he's got the character in his voice sounds like so many other singers. And I would not be able to tell the difference between him and a handful of singers that I actually follow as well. You know, these bands, I like them all. But he is lost because he's not got anything different. Musically, it's really good. It's what you expect from all those bands that are put together. It really is like a mishmash of those bands. And I actually like this song better than the Art Nation stuff that Alexander Strandell was actually in. I think it's better. It's a bit heavier. It sounds a little bit heavier to me. Got a bit more meat on it. Solo was really good, but you know, that guitarist, I think that's Love Magnuson on the guitar. He's a really good guitarist. Technically, really good. One of something that really grabbed me, it didn't really grab me. It was okay. I'm probably going to piss a lot of people off, but there you go. It's just my opinion. Thank you very much for listening. What do you think of this song? Let me know in the comments below. What do you think of my theory about you know this not standing out you know maybe there's too many of these projects and that at the moment i don't know when you get a project together you want it to really like hit you like it really means some and i think this is going to get lost in the plethora of projects there you go let me know what you think in the comments below and i'll see you next time